I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got justice and it's with the death card. Now, justice, it actually deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So, it's important not to remember that everything you're dealing with, however, is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Not everything. And I say this because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved with a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now it's with the death card. Keep in mind the death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things are not written in stone. This death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation it's likely to be both internally and externally in your life. It could be that some situations, things and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Just know that this transition, it can be very difficult for some people. But the change is nearly always needed. So, Sagittarius, recent past energy, justice clarified by the death card. The message that I'm getting is that, yeah, your person that you, you're involved with, or maybe you're still involved with them, but they wanted some type of wrong that happened to them, whether you did it or someone else did it or it was a situation, they wanted that wrong to be made right. Yeah, they wanted some type of justice to be served. And it looks like it was what, it had something to do with the connection with you. And if it wasn't made right, they could have been thinking about Ending, ending the connection because the death card can be about finality or maybe it can be about conclusion or maybe they were losing interest. They needed some type of wrong to be made right. I don't know if you did something and they were, they felt like it was something wrong or something. They needed some type of justice to be served. Because it was causing them to lose interest in you, maybe, or the connection. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got, this, we got temperance and we got the star. Now, temperance, with this card, all your relationships are likely to be going quite well. You may need to look at any deep personal issues and see if or how they could be standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea would be to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. Now it's with a star card. When you get this card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired 
and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. <laughs> you could also feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial or both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but like I said, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This can also be a spiritual card, and you may find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. So coming up, Sagittarius, temperance clarified by the star. So the message that I'm getting is that, like I said, your person wanted some type of wrong to be made right. They felt like there was some type of injustice. Like I said, maybe you did something to them that they didn't think was fair. And it was causing them to lose interest or just come to some type of conclusion of their own. But coming up, because the star card and the temperance is here, which is absolutely great for what the two of you might be going through, it's showing that there could be, um, the connection could become rejuvenated with the star card. And the two of you will start to feel more hopeful about the connection and towards the future. Any, when you get the star card, any grief of the past is release. So that's good. So something is going to take place whereas um, your person no longer feels like this death card. You two, it looks like you could be working on it or yeah, you work through it because with the star card, like I said, any grief of the past is release. There's rejuvenation here. And the two of you will feel more hopeful about the connection. And it's showing with temperance, you two could be, some of you will be um, going through some type of reconciliation. Temperance is about reconciliation also. And it's about finding balance. So, yeah, the two of you are finding balance, balance again. Getting a peace of mind, the connection will become rejuvenated, and you two will be more hopeful about the connection again. So this is good. So it looks like you two will be working things out and making the connection better or fixing whatever was wrong. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Got this five of cups, and it's with the high priestess. Yeah, now the five of cups can be about disappointment. Five of cups reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably going to be clear. Are you going to focus on, well, are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say, it's going to be important for you to watch where you put your focus coming up and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Because when you get the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment. Now, it's with the High Priestess. The High Priestess can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, femininity, inspiration. It's actually a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's going to be important to pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. Yeah, so your challenge, Sagittarius, Five of Cups, clarified by High Priestess. Yeah, so like I said, you and your person, you're working things out. 
They're coming out of this death. This feeling of the connection dying. They're coming out of that because temperance and the star, it takes care of the death card. It just tosses it out. But coming up though, the challenge, there's some disappointment because it looks like you or your person might have a hard time um, just staying positive. Every now and then, something's going to, well, they might have flashbacks. And then it's going to take them back to what they were disappointed about. Or that could be you. But the good thing about it is, is that your person, they're seeing you in a different light these days. Um, probably because you two have been through some type of storm. And maybe they, you did something that makes them more drawn to you. You did something to pull the connection back together or you'll be doing something. And they're becoming more drawn to you. More attracted to you. Yeah, so it's helping them to pull themselves out of the times when they tend to fall back into disappointment. Because people do have flashbacks, especially if they got hurt or if they were extremely disappointed. But like, like I said, the good thing, you're doing something. I don't know if you've... I don't know what you're doing, Sagittarius. Uh, you got some sexy lingerie, you got a new hairstyle, you got a new... You got a new, a new look, or maybe you're saying things that are really making them feel good. I don't know what it is, but they're being really drawn to you, very more, more attracted to you than they have been in the recent past. I don't know if you got a new look, you lost some weight, you had some, some surgery or something, I don't know, but anyway, it's helping them. Focus more on what's good in the connection. Because, like I said, every now and then with the Five of Cups here, it's the card above the word challenge. Every now and then they fall back into disappointment. But then you pull them out because you're looking so good these days. Yep. So, that is a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Sun card, ends with a Chariot. Now, the Sun card, um, with this card, things are likely to be going well. Even though your finances are in good shape, when you get the Sun card, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is not high on the list for some of you. I know for me it is, but that's what the sun card is indicating. Now, keep in mind, it's going to be a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card is an indicator that it's right around the corner. Now, it's with the chariot, which indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed it's controlled and it has a goal in mind so when this card appears you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true yeah this chariot card it's about being determined and ambitious it's about getting things done testing and proving that you got what it takes so it's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Just remember, you're going to need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. So the outcome, Sagittarius, the sun clarified by the chariot. Okay, so 
like I said, you're pulling your person through through whatever disappointment this was. Yeah, they're being more drawn to you than ever. And like I said, I don't know what you're doing, but they're being pulled to your energy, to your inner beauty, or your outer beauty. The connection is rejuvenated. Both of you are feeling more hopeful about it. They're no longer focusing on justice. They're no longer feeling that something needs to be made right. Yeah, the death card is tossed out. It's gone. We can pick this up and throw it out at the reading. Because we've got this beautiful sun card here. And the chariot for the outcome. So things start to really pick up. Because the chariot goes really fast. The chariot takes off 100 miles an hour and zoom. It's gone. It's right. It's, it's taken off like the speed of lightning. Yeah, so things really pick up. So you and your person could start to do a lot of things. Maybe travel. Or maybe planning. Because like I said, the chariot... With this card, there's planning. There's, it's not a free for all take off. It's not a free for all energy. It is not. It has a goal and a plan in mind. So the two of you are planning and making um, goals and having some type of motivation, determination and ambition about what's what's coming up for the two of you so you're making plans and it looks like you guys are ready now to do something maybe something exciting because i'm looking at all the stars that are around circled around the the chariot and there's a flower sitting on the chariot seat and it's like it's blossoming so this is beautiful and then you got the sun card. Yeah, the two of you are making each other happy again. Because uh, the sun card is about adding sunshine to your person's life. And they're adding sunshine to your life. So, yeah, you two work things out. This is great. So, Sagittarius, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, could be a co-worker or a family member. So just take the readings for however it resonates. And yes, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be your person. Or your person could be you. Take it for however it resonates because, like I said, these are their um, general readings. They're not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never see it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday. I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm going to wish you all Happy New Year's. Have a great day and take care.